It's absolutely ridiculous what's taking place in Afghanistan. The amount of men and women who have lost their lives, their limbs, themselves in a fight against an oppressive regime just to watch it all go out like this. It's disgraceful. I just wanted to get on here real quick and give you my opinion on this whole Afghanistan situation. And I'm gonna be honest, I. I don't see how this is not Joe Biden's fault. Your own intelligence community has assessed that the Afghan government will likely collapse. That is not true. Is it? Can you please clarify what they have told you about whether that will happen or not? That is not true. They, so, did, not, they didn't, did not reach that conclusion. I don't want to hear that crap about how Trump had something to do with this. The excuse being made today is that because Trump made a deal with the Taliban to bring our troops out by May 1st, Biden had to follow through with that plan or there would have been another war with the Taliban. That's just a stupid excuse. Whether this was Trump's plan and Biden just upheld it, you've got to admit, I don't care what side you're on, that the implementation of this was absolutely disastrous. I mean, Trump had already started to pull troops out when he did this. Yet, we didn't see a whole collapse like this until Joe Biden put his finger on it. Let's settle this real quick. The Afghan army failed because the U.S. pulled its support from the Afghan army. Let's walk through it. The Afghan army trained in a way that required American support, specifically air support. As a matter of fact, America and the Afghan army were so integrated that Afghans could call up airstrikes themselves using American ships or, excuse me, American birds. Also, while American troops were a big factor, American contractors were a bigger factor for the ANA. The ANA used American contractors for training, supply, and support in regard to American planes. But that's just one part. When we pulled out taking all support, ANA operations were destroyed at its foundation. You can't lay a foundation to a house, start building the house, talk about how strong the house is, then demolish the foundation and expect the house to still stand. That's exactly what Joe Biden did to the ANA. Not to mention, with such a hasty retreat, we've abandoned every Afghan national that helped us in the fight in the first place. People who worked to feed intel to us. People who worked on our fobs and bases. Not to mention the interpreters who worked directly with the U.S. troops. These guys and their families have been left in a terrible position where death looks like the likely outcome. This doesn't even account for the women there. We're talking about girls who have grown up in the last 20 years there, living in freedom just to be thrust back into a pre-war Sharia law type rule for women. I don't even like to think about the amount of American taxpayer dollars that were wasted, but not just wasted, given directly to the Taliban. The presidential palace, the embassy, military vehicles like the MRAP, Humvees, helicopters, drones, and small arms weapons like the M4, the M16, 240s, 249s. This hits every American that's paid taxes in the last 20 years. It is not inevitable. The jury is still out, but the likelihood there's going to be the Taliban overrunning everything and owning the whole country is highly unlikely. Honestly, Biden's foreign policy is a freaking joke. <laughs> <laughs>